What is going on, Mr. Crazy 1870 with the full review of the new Trend Airbender keyboard case for the iPad 3rd Gen. Up first, we do have the main keyboard case itself. Now, you also get a user's guide where it gives you all the info you need to know about the Airbender. And last but not least, you get a USB cable which is used to charge the keyboard. So, taking a closer look at the Airbender itself, now first we do have the back plate which snaps to the back of the iPad just like a regular iPad case. There's also a large round cutout which is used to snap the case onto the keyboard. So here we have the main keyboard. Now here in the corner we do have some new Trent branding, three LEDs that indicate when you have your caps on, charge and Bluetooth. Now we also have a connect button for pairing and a on and off switch. This keyboard also has some dedicated buttons. First we have the home button, brightness up and down, search, play, pause, track, forward and backward, mute, volume up and down. The last one is a lock. An unlock button which comes in handy big time now here in the back side there is a little switch that lets you slide the iPad back a little and lets you lean it back so it's more comfortable to the eyes when typing and it also has a swivel so you're able to use it vertical and landscape all depending on what works best for you another option that you have with this is that you're able to remove this back piece and now you have like a whole complete new setup and to be quite honest, I never found myself using this setup at all. This being a keyboard case, it does add bulk and weight. Now you also have full access to your buttons and ports, including your camera on the back side, so you will not have any problems with that. Now one of the coolest features is that say if you're done and you're fed up with the keyboard, you simply press on these two tabs and it releases the iPad and now you're left with the iPad and the back case itself which is really convenient here in the side we do have the charging input which usually with keyboard cases you have pretty good battery life so battery life with the keyboard case is not really a big issue now here we do have some built-in rubber pieces which i believe they're there to protect the screen when the whole case is closed now there is a small gap so it's not hitting the screen when it's fully closed. Now, my experience with the keyboard case is that the keys are a little small for big fingers like mine, but that is to be expected because the keyboard is a little small. Now, a couple of the things that I did not like is that it does attract fingerprints at smudges, so that is something to know. So that is pretty much it. Now, this is available at Nutrent.com. I will have the link to their site down below. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask. You can also catch me on any of the social sites down below. Don't forget to check out the two latest videos, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.